Satan tempts Jesus. Matthew chapter 4 Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. 2 And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. 3 Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. For but he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. 5 Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, 6 And said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against the stone. Seven Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not, a, tempt the Lord your God. Eight again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. Nine and he said to him, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Ten then Jesus said to him, be away with you satan for it is written you shall worship the lord your god and him only you shall serve eleven then the devil left him and behold angels came and ministered to him jesus begins his galilean ministry twelve now when jesus heard that john had been put in prison he departed to galilee thirteen and leaving nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali, 14 that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, 15 The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, 16 The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death. Light has dawned. 17. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven, see, is at hand. For fishermen called as disciples. 18. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. 19 Then he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. 20 They immediately left their nets and followed him. 21 Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. He called them, 22 And immediately they left the boat and their father, and followed him. Jesus heals a great multitude. 23 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. 24 Then, D, his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Twenty-five great multitudes followed him, from Galilee, and from E, Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. The Beatitudes Matthew chapter 5 And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated his disciples came to him. To then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Three blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Five blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the F earth. Six blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Seven blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Eight blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Nine blessed are the peacemakers, 
for they shall be called sons of God. 10 Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 11 Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. 12 Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Believers are salt and light. 13 You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. 14 You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. 15 Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. 16 Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Christ fulfills the law. 17 Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy but to fulfill. 18 For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one, g, jot or one, h, tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. 19 Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments, and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven, but whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. 24 I say to you, that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Murder begins in the heart. 21 You have heard that it was said to those, I, of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. 22 But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother, J, without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, K, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, L, you fool, shall be in danger of M, hellfire. 23 Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, 24 Leave your gift there before the altar, and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. 25 Agree with your adversary quickly, while you are on the way with him, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge, the judge hand you over to the officer, and you be thrown into prison. 26 Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there till you have paid the last penny. Adultery in the heart. 27 You have heard that it was said, in, to those of old, you shall not commit adultery. 28 But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. 29 If your right eye causes you to, oh, sin, pluck it out and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish, than for your whole body to be cast into hell. 30 And if your right hand causes you to, p, sin, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Marriage is sacred and binding. 31 Furthermore it has been said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. 32 But I say to you that whoever divorces his wife for any reason except, Q, sexual immorality causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery. Jesus forbids oaths. 33 Again you have heard that it was said to those of R. Old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform your oaths to the Lord. 34 But I say to you, do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. 35 Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. 36 Nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. 37 But let, s, your yes be yes, and your no, 
No, for whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Go the second mile. 38 You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. 39 But I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. 40 If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. 41 And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. 42 Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you do not turn away. Love your enemies. 43 You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. 44 T But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. 45 That you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. 46 For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? 47 And if you greet your, you, brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the v, tax collectors do so? 48 Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Do good to please God. Matthew chapter 6 Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men, to be seen by them. Otherwise you have no reward from your Father in heaven. 2 Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. 3 But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, for that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will himself reward you, W, openly. The Model Prayer 5 And when you pray, you shall not be like the ex hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. 6. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you, why, openly. 7. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. 8. Therefore do not be like them. For your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. 9. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 10. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. 11. Give us this day our daily bread. 12. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 13. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Z. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 15. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Fasting to be seen only by God. 16. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the AA hypocrites with a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. 17. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face. 18. So that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you up openly. Lay up treasures in heaven. 19. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, 
where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Lamp of the Body 22. The Lamp of the Body is the Eye. If therefore your eye is, a C, good, your whole body will be full of light. 23. But if your eye is, at, bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? You cannot serve God and riches. 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and a e. mammon. Do not worry. 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? 26. Look at the birds of the air. For they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? 27. Which of you by worrying can add one AF cubit to his AG stature? 28. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. 29. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not, ah, uh, arrayed like one of these. 30. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? 31. Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? 32 for after all these things the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things 33 but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you 34 therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day is its own trouble <laughs>